What's poppin' T subs and T squad? Baby, what a day we had, child. Girl, y'all know I was up here earlier and I had to get somebody they walking papers, they pink slip. And I'm um, coming to find out they called they self giving me some low brow, low budget, no budget, mediocre, uh, elementary ass reads talking about views and how many views I got. Baby, your views can never appear to the views that I got, honey. You could just go down my timeline, baby, and see my popular views about how many views I done have for you. But I'm just going to let that alone. I'm not giving that bitch no more dust on my channel. I refuse to do it. So anybody that followed that dusty ass, uh, that dusty ass AIDS having ass dude that, um, a girl, that dusty ass AIDS having ass girl that I said, go kill yourself. Now, getting on to what the hell we here for, honey. It is Chasing Dallas, baby. We is still in season two. This is episode 13. Um, Then there's fire. Y'all already know what to do. Like, comment, share, most importantly, subscribe, hit that bell, become notification gang gang, and all that good stuff. Y'all already know the rest of the formalities. I've been saying this since my parents been dead, honey. I ain't finna tell y'all that shit no more. And if it feel like I'm on one, it's cause I am. Y'all, so y'all already know this is about to be as good of a review that I could give y'all for this episode, honey. So, Reese goes to rehearsal for the 2019 DFW LGBTQ Awards, where he is presenting an award and also Chasing Dallas is up for an award. Dior and Trey Howard comes because Trey, I mean, Dior has been nominated for an award um, and he's also presenting an award. Trey Howard wants to clear the air with Reese, and Trey Howard comes for Reese Jihad. Reese and Trey come for each other on social media and Reese brings up Trey Womack's name and he lets it be known that they have talked about it and they're over it and Dior stands by his cheering. Child, let me tell you something. That whole scene, I want no parts of. First of all, I'm completely confused how y'all went from zero to 100 really, really quick. And see, Reese, this is my thing to you. See, you invite these kind of issues to your platform and to your life because you being executive producer, there there's no reason why you should be up here fiddle fat and kiki and lollygagging and 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 you know fool on line around in the laps of these people you invite this type of situation to your doorstep Reese, and it's hard for me to feel sorry for you like why can't you just be a real executive producer and just stay out of the drama that is dealing with other people that's why myself and Imani Van Zapp keep calling you Reese O'Neill because that is a classic Vershandia O'Neill move you don't mind being in the mess, but then when it gets brought up to your doorstep, then you want to try to elevate yourself back up to a level of EP, executive producer. And I don't think that's right. And I don't think that's fair. You're so far involved in this beef that you can't get out of it at this point, which is why I feel like you need to dis you need to pick a struggle, baby. Either you're going to be a cast or you're going to be part of the production. Myself, personally, I feel like you work way better behind the scenes and production than you do up here because, baby, they eating you alive up here. They are. Your little reads that you call yourself giving Trey, Wo I mean, Trey Howard and this, that, that, and this, girl, I can have no parts of it. And it ain't no shade, Reese G, because you know, baby, I love you down. And just because I love you down, I'm going to tell you the absolute truth, whether you want to hear it or not. That go for you, Kane, uh, 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 George, Ariel, uh, uh, Markel, Carrie, any of y'all. But I'm just going to let that rest where that's at and move right on along because I'm on this tonight. Anyway. Markel invites everybody to his house for a little ponderosa, honey. And Reese explains himself about Womack again. Uh, Markel and Womack, I mean, not Markel, um, Kane and Womack throw small shade at Markel for this invite. Um, 
Ariel comes with Dior, Dior and she comes with shades because she has pink eye. Womack claims that George got him drunk, pulled out his dick, and tried to mess with him down to New Orleans. Dior says that he was trying to explain that what his kids do should have nothing to do with him. Um, first of all, Ariel, you ain't had no business carrying your fine, cute ass down amongst people when you got pink eye, baby, whether you got shades on or not. That is still contagious, honey. Okay? You ain't had no business carrying your ass around there. You just should have shut that one out. But I get it. You on the show. You put your best foot forward. And baby, you look good in your outfit. Girl, look quiet as a scat. Ariel and Dior get the Dead Dead Award from me. All season long with they outfit, baby, they outfit game is fabulous, honey. And I was all here for that. Um, Womack, girl, I'm not even finna call you Womack because your real name, Roosevelt. Roosevelt, child, listen to me. Because see, Roosevelt, this is why I don't like you. You say that you're cool with somebody, but then you want to turn up and then you want to get amongst these other people and all you have is gossip to present them. Listen, this is the gag, uh, Roosevelt. If he did pour his dick out, something tells me that you did not mind trying to either shove it up your ass or shove it down your throat or see all the all of the above. OK, I find it hard to believe you drunk. He drunk. He pulling out his dick. Use a big bottom if I ever seen one. And you just, oh, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, no, you were aggressive to me. Girl, bye. Trey Howard, I mean, girl, not, not Trey Howard. Trey Womack, girl, quiet as it's kept. Roosevelt, baby, go and find your life, Roosevelt. I'm not here for you. I'm not here for Roosevelt at all. Like I said, he's reaching for a storyline by any means necessary. And I'm saying, Kane, let me tell you something. If this was the person that you came, he forced himself on a child. Girl, you can have that. Move right on along. I'm not about to sit here and continue to go in until I have on um, Roosevelt because it ain't going to be nothing but easy reads. It's going to be easy, lazy reads that everybody else done read him on all six. A girl quiet as a scab. Imani Van Zapp read you down last week and she read you down this week as well because after that scene, we saw Imani Van Zapp come on and she refuses to talk about the fight again. And I absolutely agree with her. Shout out to Auntie Imani. She got it right yet again. Moving right on along. Markel invited George and Ariel out to um, Italian Express for pizza to talk and to catch up. They bring up what Womack said about what he did to him in New Orleans. George said that he never tried to get Womack drunk. He said that um, he did show Trey how he did show Trey Womack. I'm sorry. He did show Roosevelt his dick. Then Roosevelt said that he had a pretty penis uh, he said he had a pretty penis. George says he knows. He put it up, and that was the end of that. I honestly felt like um, George told the truth out of that whole situation. All right? It wasn't that he didn't want to do it, because I'm more than sure if he really wanted to suck his dick, he would have fucking sucked it, okay? That one, what the situation was, he just went on ahead, gave him a little thirst trap tease, a little thirst trap, I, 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 and then he went on ahead and put it up because he doesn't have the physical, the looks, the grandeur, or anything else to make even George want his dick up in his mouth. And see, George, you did a good thing by doing that, baby. Okay, you did a good thing by doing that. You don't need that boy. You don't need your dick, your dick in that boy mouth. No God. Um, Carrie D shows up to join them. And Reese G shows up. Joy George feels like he's owed an apology for not being invited to his party. Reese said that he doesn't care for him and his elitist attitude and that he's not getting an apology from him. George, I will have to agree. I hate when people do that. I hate when people, grown ass people, get up amongst everybody else and then says, oh, you owe me an apology. Huh? It don't work that way. And I don't see what he owes you an apology for. If he didn't invite you, he didn't invite you. You just should have let that roll off your let let that shit roll off your shoulder. I mean, and it ain't like you didn't come because you came anyway. So what does he owe you an apology for? And Reese, this is another thing that kills me with you. 
I'm I'm very confused as to how we see y'all Kiki and a fool la with each other down to the radio station to now you don't care for his elitist attitude and you don't want to be around him no more. How did we get here, Deborah Cox? Please explain that to me. Now don't get me wrong, Markel gave me the real tea about that. But my whole thing is not everybody else is privy to tea as me at well as myself. And the rest of the Just Us League is. So your job as executive producer, as well as everybody else's job behind the scenes, is to have a build up as to exactly how y'all go from getting to know each other, y'all cool with each other, to you don't care for him and his elitist attitude. And he's not getting no apology from you. And you had to exit stage left before you get up and smack the shit out of him. Like, anyway, Reese and Premier show up for the awards show. Um, Dior wins an award and Chasing Dallas wins an award and Reese forgets to acknowledge George. Once again, Reese, this is you G playing the playing the role of a cast member, but then wants to elevate yourself back up to EP. You can't do both. Vershandia can't do both. She's learning the hard way and you're going to have to learn the hard way that you can't do both either. You can't. Um, but y'all, that's really all I got. I ain't got no more to give you. The episode, it was, it was, it was pretty decent. You know, I ain't really got nothing bad to say about the episode. It was, eh, you know what I'm saying, girl? Maybe it's because I was on this as to why the episode was as good as I think it is. But baby, y'all drop down in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about tonight's episode. And I will hit y'all up later, girl. Bye. I just woke up and I rolled up. I just woke up and I rolled up. Push that be my starter, yeah.